everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at multiplication and division fact families. Let's dig in. All right, so the first one I want to look at is 8 times 5. Let's get that on our whiteboard and let's first just figure out what that equals. So I'm going to be using some equal group drawings that I think are really easy to find answers. And we can kind of think about this one two different ways. So we can think about drawing eight groups of five, or we can think of drawing five groups of eight. So the way a fact family works is that I can switch those two numbers and it's going to equal the same answer. So which one do you think you'd like to draw? Okay, I heard some of you say you'd like to draw the groups of five, the eight groups of five, because it's a lot easier to count up our fives. So that's great. Let's draw those out. And I'm going to put five in each of my eight groups. All right, now it looks like it's going to be easy to count up. Why don't you try counting by fives, see what you get. Okay, I got 40. So eight groups of five equals 40. What do you think five groups of eight equals? You're right, also 40. Okay, now we're going to take a look at these same pictures, but we're going to think about division because that's part of this fact family. So if I had 40 divided by those eight groups, okay, and division is really just separating a larger amount into groups, and then you see what one group or what each group has in it. So what do you think? What's in each of those groups in our drawing? You got it, five. So this picture, to me, when I see this, I see multiplication and I see division. That's awesome. Okay, let's do the last part of the fact family. What do you think 40 divided by five would be? What's that other number in our fact family? Look at your other number sentences. Okay, you got it, eight. Great job, we finished our first fact family. All right, let's try the next one, three times six, or I like to say three groups of six. I could also say six groups of three. Which one would you like to draw? All right, well, we could really choose either one. And if you want to do a different one than me and check our work and see if we get the same thing, that would be awesome. So I think I'm going to draw three groups of six, just because that's a little less work. I have to only draw three circles instead of six circles. Okay, and how much should I put in each group? Okay, awesome, six. I'm going to put six in each group. Then we can figure out the answer. All right, so now we've got all of our um, all of our dots in our groups, and we can start either counting them up, or we can try to count by sixes. That's a little more challenging than counting by fives on the last problem. So let's see, six, 12, 18. And if you ever were feeling like you weren't really sure if that was the right answer, you could just count by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so 18 is my answer. 
to three groups of six. What does six groups of three equal? Okay, awesome, same thing, 18. Now let's try the division part of the fact families. So remember, we can use that picture to think about 18 divided by three, or really that means 18 separated into three groups, okay? And what would the answer be? How much is in each group or one group? Okay, awesome, there's six. The picture gives it away. Okay, now, how about 18 divided by six? What do you think would be in each group then? What's that last number in the fact family that we haven't used yet? Okay, awesome, three. Well, great job on your second fact family, multiplication and division fact family. All right, now I'd like to try one in the opposite direction. So we're gonna start with division because you know, sometimes you're, uh, especially in third grade, you're gonna hear a question, a division question like 14 divided by two. And we need to think of a strategy to figure that answer out. And sometimes thinking of multiplication can really help you and drawing a picture can really help you too. So to figure out 14 divided by two, I can be thinking about two times what, two times what equals 14. And sometimes I like to write it like that as a number sentence with a little blank. So what do you think? Two times what equals 14? All right, I bet some of you have the answer, but before we say it out loud, let's draw it too. So if we have 14 divided by two, I can draw two groups and I can just start putting the 14 in the groups until I run out. Um, because that's what division really is. It's just separating something into groups. So there's one, two, notice how I go back and forth, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna stop when I get to 14. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so how much is in each group? Let's count that up. Seven. So that means that 14 divided by two is seven, and two times what is 14? Seven, good job. Those are the three numbers in the fact family. So now we can draw the, we can write the other ones too. What is 14 divided by seven? What do you think? You got it too. And what is seven times two? Okay, awesome, 14. Great job on that multiplication and division fact family.